Jay, Lisa, also to be chatting. How are you both? Yeah, we're great. Thank you. How are you guys going? Yeah, doing good. Um, I don't even know where to begin with this one. Um, <laughs> God only knows how the Q and A at Monster Fest is going to go. That'll be interesting. But I'll start by saying congratulations on scoring the closing night spot because I can't think of a better way to cap off the festival. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's so pretty nice. exciting. Yeah. I did um I I did what I now call a Harold Holt and I pissed myself watching this movie. Like it's gut bustingly funny. It's wrong in all of the right ways. So congratulations. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's interesting anyway. <laughs> yeah, you you're a you're a freaky bunch of people. Um this movie joins the ranks of like some really great Aussie comedies that have rewritten history, you know, uh, stuff like Wills and Burke, Young Einstein, Ned, that was one that came to mind. Um who conceived the idea for Emu War and what convinced you to sort of turn it from a web series into a film? So our friend, we've all, we all met doing um, stand-up comedy in Melbourne and um, our friend Jonathan Schuster in 2015 um, came to us with the idea and we thought it would be a really fun way to do like all sorts of crazy jokes and stuff and I don't know just started developing it with him we developed it into like six minute short film which was pretty which is too bad for us to put out and so then we cut that <laughs> in, <laughs> we cut that into a trailer um and um put that online and then and then that went okay and so then we developed you know we developed it with Screen Australia and that's sort of the story about how things got got going with yeah and project. i think with the proof or with the trailer the original sort of proof of concept trailer it was became very clear that there's like a really big audience for this mm -hmm. um people were just so into the idea and um just so many comments about people just like oh i would just love to see this and so i guess that gave us a lot of like encouragement that this was a great idea to run with and mm -hmm. um and then again from our actual trailer that just came out you can see that again still just so many people are just kind of just love the concept and mm -hmm. um so it's yeah, I think it's it was definitely something worth pursuing, which I'm glad we did. So the if I'm not mistaken, the web series never saw the light of day. Like it ended up being reserved for the film. Is that correct? Yeah. So essentially, the the web it went as a web series, and then there was some interest to turn it into a film. And basically, it's it's the story was always um it was always a narrative. It wasn't just like little snippets. Um, yeah. so it kind of works just fine as a as a full film. Um, sure. So it was just a some tweaking in the edit, but it was it's pretty much the same story as we were going to have as as the web series. I'm just I'm just curious when you come up with something like this, and you're sitting there with the with the kind of bare bones of the script. Do you go kind of scene by scene and go, how can we take this to the extreme? Like with every because I mean it's pretty non-stop with the like <laughs> you know, there's no there's no there's no like. I don't want to say there's no point where it's grounded in reality, where it, where it is, but it it's just so like like every scene is 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 hilarious. Um, well, I think it helps that the writers are all comedians. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was kind. Of, I mean, we you know we did writers' rooms, and it was like it was just sitting around a table throwing ideas out, and, yeah. and kind of everyone going like, "Can we do that? That's a bit nuts." And then, how and then, do people get it? How would someone break out of prison? <laughs> like, they have to have sex, and it's so hot that the bars melt. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, how long I mean, was pretty like, soon? Just like, yeah, out, you know, it's yeah. just like, it's pretty organic. All of the ideas, yeah. it's just sort of like, um. I mean, admittedly, since watching the film, I think to myself now in every situation, what would the horniest man in Australia do? Oh, don't start me on <laughs> Alan. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Jonathan Schuster. So um, he was, he was uh, the best role for himself. Yeah. My God. Yeah, like I, I'm going to be quoting that guy for years, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, look, I mean, the thing is, I, I was amazed because I've been watching your videos for years, like your online stuff, and I didn't even realise that you were involved with sort of Emu War until I saw all of you start popping up. I'm like, oh, my God, I've been watching these guys for so long. So it makes sense how you've got everyone involved in a movie like this. But speaking of people like investors like Screen Australia and things like that, how do you convince them with material that's so crass and edgy? Like, are they on board from the start? Are they worried about, you know, sensitivities in the in the market and all that kind of stuff um well they've been so supportive um i think 
I mean, I think that they're just open to kind of comedy and it's like, I know some of it is a bit out there, but it's, but it's all in good fun. And, you know, I don't think we're offending anybody. I don't think anybody's going to be like severely like that was, (laughs) you know, it's, it's like, it goes on the edge for sure. And we talked a lot of with them about treading the line. And I think there are a few things that we had in the original scripts that kind of, there was like the conversations like, oh, is this a bit, maybe this isn't, maybe this is going a bit far or something, you know? So I think we did tone some stuff back from the original, from the script. And maybe, maybe in the edit, we lost a couple of things, but yeah. all in all, it was. Um, there's a scene that I don't want to give any spoilers, but there's a scene with a, with a ghost. And um, <laughs> that was kind of on and the that was like, uh, it's a discussion. Yeah. There's, yeah. People from Screen Australia were like, we really strongly want it to go. And we were like, we're, we're, we're passionate about this and we <laughs> need it in there. And then they let us have it in there. So yeah. I was like, you know, they're, yeah, they're, so they're, they've been so good. Yeah. You know? I, I, yeah. I always wonder if those meetings are kind of like, uh, so you've got in the script that the Queen Emu is going to have six boobs. <laughs> is there any room to move? And you're like, well, like, we can go four. <laughs> but <laughs> how about two? No. It needs to at least. <laughs> you can't have a human now. It's got to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. It's, it's of degrees. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, kind of the, that's kind of the way it goes, really. Like, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, it is comedy and, and it is our kind of comedy. And I think because we've been doing stuff for a while now, it's our style and kind of voice is is becoming fairly clear. So, therefore, it's like if we didn't do this kind of stuff, it would be too off-brand, you know. Like, this is what. Yeah people are expecting and so it's kind of um I guess that's why it was like well if if it gets too pulled down then it's not really letting us do you know what we want to do creatively which I think is the point to like support the artists to be able be allowed to do the kind of comedy that they you know are trying to do so um yeah we've been very lucky with the support there and and we were shocked when 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 they when they approved when they approved it yeah as well we (laughs) like when we got the call we were like oh my god (laughs) <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank, I was, you, thank you. <laughs> I have to imagine that the original submission, it's like, you know, Johnny Depp when he came up with the uh, Captain Jack Sparrow <laughs> makeup and stuff, and he went yeah. like he went to a tan expecting them to pull him back to what he yeah. actually wanted. And then yes. like, I believe yeah. they said yes to all of this. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, to be fair, we did spend years on that application. So I yeah. mean we definitely worked hard <laughs> to get to get the yeah. yes. But um yeah, I think it's it's a good show of like you know, being, yeah, just being allowed to, like, kind of express the I, comedy in the yeah. show. Yeah. I think we're through to, we've t- ticked over year six of, like, like work being spent on this project. Yeah. And we're not finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time's ticking. <laughs> um, I mean, I know we're focused a little bit on the outrageousness of it because and I think that's the best selling point of the film, to be to be honest. Um, and as well as all of your mates that you've got, the comedians, you've got like Damien Kellinan is in there as well, and he's fantastic. And I don't think there's anything more tragic than a bloke losing his um wobble board. That that just sort of broke my heart right from the start. <laughs> but um, you know, the fact that you do have a few people in there that are not you know regulars to your work, uh, was it? Did, was there anything they weren't willing to do, or was it just it, in everyone in right from the get go? There were things that that our actors were willing to do that I was truly shocked. Like, <laughs> but like just such troopers. I think everybody was, yeah. Um, we yeah. we to not give too much away, but there's like, yeah, Damien's sort of like, boy, he been his like late fifties. Yeah, he's he's been amazing. Yeah, <laughs> but it, like considering how we, ridiculous the show is, like oiled, like you know, sort of oiled him up. And like had him <laughs> shot for way too long doing like a, like yeah, a, like a really great thing. The sex what scene. oiled up yeah. as well. Yeah, they all oiled <laughs> it's up. Very steamy. It was very hot in that studio. And we're like coming up with different positions and stuff. And we're like, <laughs> we got enough. We can move on, sort of. And he was really great about yeah. it. He was like, we really put him through the like. He told me. He told me he's he sometimes gets sore knees, and I was like, there is an un. There's an ungodly amount of Neil in his character. <laughs> <laughs> all this, like, such all legend. This stuff. Like, He's such a legend, you know, yeah. just to, like, you know, just to be part of such a small, like, little stupid movie, you know? Yeah. It's, like, it's such it's, a show of, like, how 
how good these guys' sense of humours are, really. Like um, there was nothing that anybody was like, oh, that's too much or I don't want to do it. It was like everyone was just open to, is like, is this going to make it funnier? Yes, then let's do it, like, which is a great vibe on set. And, um, yeah, there were some days where it was just like a lot of laughing. What was the hardest thing to shoot in terms of keeping a straight face? Great question. Well, for me, there was there's a scene where we're in this the cell, mm. and I'm explaining why I can't be part of the orgy, and um, <laughs> and John Campbell, our other director, and Jay were just yelling some lines at me like "try this, try this," and they were just getting more and more ridiculous. And I don't if you, I don't know if you remember that scene, but there's a lot of it does end up in the edit, but there's heaps that doesn't, and I could not <laughs> straight face. Like, mm. Yeah, That's, and the it's, kissing for was, yeah, yeah, kissing for warmth. We were all laughing. Yeah, that was <laughs> That's a great scene. Yeah. And in in sort of elaborating on that, like, do you each have a favourite gag in the film? That's n- no, it's not a spoiler. Hmm. I got to say, for me, it's probably the bro moment with the bush tucker. That whole gag was brilliant. Oh, right. um, yeah. And and obviously, Alan's intro just had me in stitches. <laughs> I, know, I love those two. Yeah, God, I'm just trying to think what my what my favorite is. Yeah. Um, I really, I don't know. I really like that. I really like uh, the sort of the. I don't. I I don't know. I think it's kind of a spoiler, but there's there's stuff there's stuff to do with um the 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 dead son's foreskin, which. Um, <laughs> Which uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to give away too much. I don't think that's a spoiler in and of itself, like because that sort of you know doesn't oh, say yeah. a lot. Oh, there's, yeah. there's a lot of people who listen to uh, our podcast who are only listening listening to it because of the constant references to uh, dead boys foreskin. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. Um, damn it, that was no, nah, that was probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's true because the, the way you were describing the jail escape before, that's how we warm up for a show. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. is it 10 a.m.? Yes, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I yeah. love it all. Uh, it's all good. Stuff. <laughs> Get along. Yeah. See it. Look, we were watching some last night, just kind of going, trying to like prepare ourselves for what people are going to react to. And um, I'm still crying, like, and I, I've watched it all 100 times. So, um, yeah, I hope people like it. <laughs> I, I don't doubt they will. Um, and like it's obviously been, as you explained, a long and grueling process to get the movie to this point and then get it over the line. But um, have you thought about what's next for you or is it too soon for that? Yeah, we've been thinking about what's next, but we we're, we have like lots of ideas and none have like jumped through the picket line yet. So, yeah, right. Yeah. I think, I, think, um, um, I think Goxie needs his own movie. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Yes. Yeah. We've had the Coca-Cola kid. He could be the big M kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm well, so just, shocked that he hasn't I been mean, sponsored by Big M yet. Uh, he missed out on the lead role in the Shannon Warren biopic. Yeah. Like <laughs> should have been in that. Should have been yeah. in that. I mean, he should be in everything. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Um, but, yes. Yeah. Probably, well, something, with him, probably something with him and <laughs> all the other people that are yeah. in everything. But, yeah. For sure. Nice to be able to kind of. Um, you know, just get all the people that have been, you know, for we've been making stuff for years, and it's nice to be able to kind of grab all those people and put them in a film. So, what is this point as well? It's quite like daunting, just the idea of going like you start writing stuff and you go, God, do I want to live with this for the next <laughs> six years? Yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. It's a, it's a good way to filter out the ideas, though. Like you yeah, exactly. come up with twenty ideas and you go, Do I want to? <laughs> do I want to spend twenty years on this? Biopic of Harold Holt? Well, if you piss yourself <laughs> all the time, maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, we'll we'll wrap things up in a minute, but yeah, I just want to say congratulations. And this is a film like as Ben will attest, after I watched it, I couldn't stop like referencing it. And right now I'm just tempted to just quote it and reference it all the way through. <laughs> like it just really tickled my tickled my fancy. And um yeah, I'm probably gonna go back and watch it again at Monster Fest. So congrats. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love much. hearing that. Yeah, I do want to. I do want to ask both Glenn and I. Uh, we've only seen a work in progress print, yes. and and it's also like I'm also one of the programmers for Monster Fest. Oh, cool! Uh, funnily enough, and that's that's the, it's the same print we watched. And the question has come back every time: is like, 
the guys in blue, like, are you going to keep those guys in there? Because it, it actually... It's, it, 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 there's something lot. about that that really... <laughs> it, it, sometimes it's hilarious, like, watching them with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we're, not, we're not, but there was a point, like, where the other day where, like, um, there's a chase scene with Goxie and an emu and and there was a shot of the blue guy. We need to get him out. And I feel it's like you were like, oh, maybe we'll keep him in. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so hard to know. Pops people. up just very briefly. You're just oh. like, is that funny? Yeah, like if, if you do a like a, an alternative previews cut and put it on the DVD or something like that, like I'm sure people would love that as well. <laughs> yes, yes, we do want to do one of those, you know, before and after VFX, like yeah. Cuts yeah. Yes. Awesome. yeah, those bits were ridiculous. But yeah, well, thanks so much for the time to have a chat with us. It's a thrill. Um, I'm, I, I want to own this film. I want to show it to everybody, <laughs> and I can't get enough of it. Oh, thank you, thank so, you so much, much guys. Lovely hopefully, to chat to you. Yeah, hopefully see you. Oh, I'm sure I'll see you, you at Monster Fest. Yeah, no definitely. Doubt. Incredible, thanks. I've seen war. I see war. No! An evil lurks in these lands. I'm scared, Mama. I need a team to go deep into enemy territory. It's going to be a real cold one tonight, so we're all going to have to kiss for warm. You remind me quite a lot of my son, Private. Is this warming you up? A little, I guess. Every human on that battlefield will die. Cause I don't think you should be rooting sheep, eh? They can't stop us rooting if we're dead. Come on, sheep.